What can I say? You are even lovelier than the first time. Thank you. I'm so nervous. You hear that? It's time. He's coming. Who? Your future husband, of course. Oh, no, he's not supposed to see me before the wedding. Honey, the wedding is now. Oh, here you are. Baby, why did you run away? I had to get ready. How do I look? Like an angel. Are you ready? You betcha, Cookie. Did you see who's here? Rick? He's going to give me away, just like we planned. We're gathered here, my sweetheart and me, with all the people who live in our hearts to pledge ourselves to each other. Marriage worked so good for us the first time we decided to do it. <laughs> saw you coming. I never believed that anything like you would ever happen to me. I didn't believe anyone as beautiful or as good even existed in this miserable world. But the thought that you me was incomprehensible, but you did, and that proves you were not only beautiful and good, but you are courageous, outrageous, and have a spectacular sense of humor. These are all the things that you needed to throw in with a guy like me. Thank you. Thank you. I will love you more tomorrow than I do today. And I know that's possible, because at this moment, I love you more than I ever have. I, Luke, take my Laura, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health till death do us part. That is my solemn vow. I 
Okay, Laura, take thee, Luke, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. In sickness and in health, for rich or for poor, to... to... I can't remember the rest. Uh, whatever you want. I love your eyes. I love looking in them. I feel so, so safe inside there. You know, you're inside me. You're inside my heart, right? At the center. And you always will be. I... I'm supposed to make promises, I think. Oh, I forgot. No, you, you... You already made them. I did? Mm hmm Oh. They were beautiful. Oh, good. So, now what do we do? I now pronounce us husband and wife. No. Uh... Something's wrong. Something's... Where's Rick? We, we, we don't need Rick. We can do this no, ourselves. No, I, I need him to be here. Where, where did he go? And Teresa, where, where, where did she go? We, we don't need her either. Yes, I do. I need them to be here. It has to be just the way I planned it. It has to be. Rick? Rick? Oh, sweetheart. Laura, Laura. What? Look at me. All we need is each other. No, it has to be the way I planned it. They have to be here. They, they, they have to be here. It's important. They have to be here. Maybe, maybe they went in the garden. You think? Maybe. Maybe. No. There's nothing here, darling. Now make it stop! There's nothing here. No! No! No, God! Rick's dead! No, no. Rick, Rick isn't here. It's just you and me, sweetheart. No. Just us. Just us. Then... Then... Then it's not true? It... Rick's alive. It's okay. Please tell me. Laura, no, Rick, Rick, Rick is dead. No! No! Don't say that. No! No! Oh, no! You can't be like that. What is this? There's nothing there, Laura. Yes. Nothing. I saw him. Laura, your mind is playing tricks on you. It's just you and me. Just us. He tried to give me a shot. That's right. You thought he was going to hurt you. I hit him. You had to make him stop. I killed him, didn't I? killed my father. Listen to me. Listen. Look. Right here. You see this? You focus on this. Just this. You took my hand and 
We escaped from Frank Smith and a hundred other enemies. We got away. And you took my hand when you gave birth to both our children. And they both turned out to be champs. Now you take my hand right now. And we'll get through this. You and me. We'll get through it. That's it. Just us. That's all we need. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Sweetheart. Laura. Do you trust me? Will you trust me to get us out of here and find a place where we'll be safe so we can figure out how to handle this? Oh, yes, just tell me what to do. I... You always save me. Please, Luke. Save me now. Please. I love you, Angel. I love you. Okay, come. Don't look down. That's it. Just stay with me. Stay with me. I want to stay with you. Stay with me. I want to stay with you. <laughs> it's over. psychiatric evaluation. Well, she doesn't need that. You want to help Laura? Don't put her through anymore. Tell us what happened in the attic. You killed Rick Weber and Laura saw it. Luke Baldwin is all over this case. He'll get it out of her. Is that what you want? Confess so we can avoid a trial. Laura's obviously in no condition to testify. So you got the uh, firing squad all lined up and ready to fire again. I see. You've convicted me already. I didn't even get a phone call. Nobody read me my rights. It's okay, Bubba. I know him. I ain't saying another word until you get me a lawyer. Thank you for coming. Look, I got no time to waste. I have to get to my wife. How do we get me out of here? I need you to do something that you're really not very good at at all. I need you to tell me the truth about what happened in the attic, or I can't help you or Laura. They didn't kill Rick Weber. They got no evidence that I did, so they can't hold me, can they? This is a nice try, Luke. You and I have a very colorful history, and I've just spent a considerable amount of time defending your son in the same murder case. Thank you. I need to get out of here because I have to see my wife. Then you need to tell me the truth about what happened in the attic. Alexis, all you got to do is point out that they got no evidence that I was even there. You haven't been here. You haven't watched Scott Baldwin pull out every dirty trick in the book. I wouldn't be surprised if all kinds of evidence shows up against you because he's planted it. He is determined to pin this on you, Luke, and you've made it easier for him by running. Well, since when is it a crime to go away with your wife for a little weekend? You're stonewalling the wrong person. You want me to mount a defense? I need strategy. And that means you have to tell me what you're hiding. So, why don't we sit here together and clean out the skeletons in your closet before someone else does it for you? Where's Laura? What's happened to her? I have to go see her now. 
Well, she's not doing so well because of you. Scott, you have to let me see her. You are either going to have to charge him with something or release him. You have no evidence, you have no witnesses, you have no murder weapon, you have no motive. I've got everything I need now. Either confess or we'll go right to arraignment. Fine. I'll wake up the judge. You should know the rules by now. Don't speak until I'm back in this room. I think we need to have a little chit-chat about what happened up in the attic. I did it. I didn't mean to. I did Wait, what, 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 did, what did you do? I, I... I killed my father. Are you satisfied? I suspected that for some time. Well, then why didn't you let me get her away from here? clerks so are set to proceed with the arraignment now you need to repeat after me because this is what you're going to say your honor there's a change I plead of plans not guilty luke if you want to get out of here tonight i'm confessing i killed rick weber <laughs> 